Hello everybody, welcome to my video and thanks for clicking on it. I'm just here in Malaysia, staying at Lazy Boy guest house. And I wanted to come outside, make a video and get a bit of barefoot walking. This video is a pretty important video to me. It's something that I've never made a video on directly before. And I hope it helps you, okay? It's about our subconscious mind and how it reacts and responds to what we experience in life, okay? This is extremely important, by the way. If I can just explain this clearly, it'll really help me and you in life. <laughs> it's our associations, our automatic reflex subconscious associations with things. It's also conscious. I'll give you an example, okay? Peace. I'll give you an example. A few minutes ago, I was, Sally was, me and me were in the room and I was just, we're, I was playing, just joking or whatever. And I, 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 I like, I did this to her like in the face, you know, like she was bending over and I just did it really softly. Oh, sunshine. And it just made me think she didn't have any reaction. But in the past, I remember when people did that to me, I really didn't like it. I felt like, I felt abused like almost not 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 that bad because that word is a lot of associations you see what what i mean like sex is that tricky is like, ugh, sex we've grown up thinking maybe sex is shameful or bad or wrong you know or if you get slapped in the face just even if it's really really gently like and someone's smiling and they're loving you and they're playing with you and they don't mean anything bad by it that can trigger you and you can feel bad it, it makes an emotional reaction happen in your life in your body so here's what I want to say, how to overcome this type of thing, if you understand how, what I mean. You gotta rethink, rewire your thinking processes. And that means, for example, let's say if you're triggered by the thing, thinking like someone's just stepping the boundaries. You'll know if it's someone stepping the boundaries, like if it's a complete stranger doing that to you. Yeah, you might just totally like put out your hand and, step away and tell them to step away but if it's just someone lovingly doing it like your partner and they, they really don't mean to be trying to belittle you or like put you down and sometimes this happens in relationships of course then you got to be assertive powerful but if it's something like casual like you got to say to yourself hey listen there's not say to yourself in your mind hey there's nothing really wrong with this they're just being loving a bit of self-talk you know of the very powerful mind. You see, most self-talk is unconscious and it's negative and it causes emotions. If you do the opposite, conscious, positive self-talk, it also creates emotions. But the emotions are of the very good, feel-good kind. You're rewiring your, con your subconscious too. That's what I've been doing for years now, okay? And I've never even made a video on this for some reason. I don't know, it just didn't happen. Dude, that, that sun is pretty hot. Beautiful mountain up there, isn't it? Beautiful butterflies. Beautiful sky. Everyone, I encourage you to enjoy life even when you're doing stuff like, you know, learning or watching a serious video with a serious topic. Still notice the butterflies or the sky. The air. The earth's ground. It's always here for you. The ceiling. The ground. Okay, so a moment of breath, breathe and get grounded, okay? The topic. If somebody mentions gay, sex, anything that's taboo and anything that's considered a sensitive subject. Yeah, a huge one is our body. We're very stuck up about our bodies. We're very identified with our physical bodies. This is just our, our coat. We take it off and we move on across the veil to the other world, the spirit world. And lo, countless people. I, I know countless people. <laughs> okay, personally I don't know countless people, but I do, I've read countless stories and I know a lot of people who are in contact with the spirit world. And they told me stories, personal stories, even like my friend lately. A lovely friend called Cynthia. Cynthia Brown from Alaska. If I should say her. Ah, oh, too late. Sorry about that. <laughs> but I don't think she'd mind. She's super chill. She had an. Ex uh, she had an outer. She had a near something like a near death experience. But yeah, 
she she just saw her her whole life like she saw she saw the how when you when you start to cross over cross over into the spirit world you realize who you are you're like this, this being of infinity kind of this invisible formless non-physical being and you realize well man that physical world that's like a dream and I took it so seriously and everyone is taking it so seriously whoa now this is the real thing you know <laughs> So you ain't the body, but the thing is, like in the past, for example, I'll make it personal again. You think of your examples. So many beautiful butterflies around here. I used to get, I used to feel worked up. I was made sad because I wasn't aware. I'd get sad, upset, tense when people would call me skinny, even in Biafran. I was called in school by one particular person for a while. Some people, a Biafran. And some people are called fat, ugly, she's so triggered. But you know what, who cares what other people think? This is my coat. If I called your coat or your t-shirt, not to my liking, but you get upset. <laughs> so we have to be aware of our sensitivities. And this is part of the reason why I'm so free in life because because I'm not triggered all the time, because I do not have these subconscious reflexes as much. And I'm not, you know what I mean, perfect. But neither is any other like teacher or someone trying to help out there, you know, spiritual teachers. And just something to share personally, I find a lot of these spiritual teachers and YouTube teachers, they never show you their real life. They don't talk about their real life. And I wish they did because then they'd make, then they'd show people that they are human as well. They're just like you and me. They're not perfect. They have their little things just like me. We're learning as an earth soul and they're doing their best. The, the more you go so-called aware and, and the less struggle you have, but you still have a few little things here and there. You're still living in the world of constant change and unexpected happenings. So. I'll make another video on this. <laughs> I have some thoughts about this. It's why my YouTube channel isn't as uh, famous and popular, even though I think the message is as, as, as powerful as any of them up there. And, 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 and even better than so many of the like way more popular YouTubers and other teachers out there. But when I get my books up, it'll be more, I'll, I'll fly. But I don't mind this and I'm not complaining, but I'm just saying because I come across such a casual, ordinary person, the, the egoic mind doesn't attach and the, the egoic mind wants like a definitive box, a structure, someone to follow, to worship, to think is amazing and perfect and knows everything. But that